Hi everyone, welcome to day 13 of my 100 days challenge. Today we'll be solving one of the most asked SQL interview question for data analysts. And this is also one of the most requested video. So let's see the question. So the question is very simple. You have an employee table with the employee ID, name and the salary column. You need to write a scale query to find the nth highest salary. Now this nth could be anything like it could be third highest salary, it could be seventh highest salary, it could be fifth highest salary. So let's see how we can solve this question. So first of all, if you see, this is the table we have with nine employee record at the moment. So let's assume that nth number is a third, which is a third highest salary. So we need to find out third highest salary for now. This data is not ordered. So what I can do is I can order this data by the salary column in descending, which is like highest salary on the top. So, and let's see the data, right? So first let's order the data. So now you can see first highest salary, which is above, which is 95,000. Second highest salary, which is Hank, that is 90,000. And third highest salary that is Frank, which is uh, 80,000. Now we have one more employee, which is Grace, that is also having 80,000 salary. So this employee also falls into third highest salary. Now in the fourth highest salary, we again have Hank. So sixth highest salary, we have Bob, which is 75,000. So here we need to find out the third highest salary, assuming that the nth is the third. So third highest salary is going to be th this one, right? Which is 80,000. Now similarly, if it's a fourth highest salary, so it is going to be 75,000. So this is what we need to find out, which is the salary. So I'm going to use a simple approach which is called dense rank to assign a ranking here using a window functions which will create a new window and that is going to assign a ranking. Now inside the rank I will order this data by this salary in descending and then I will assign the ranking from starting from one. So let's see what I can do. I can go ahead and say salary what I need first column. I want to select salary and uh, i want to use a window functions called dense rank now if you have not used dense rank so you can see in this video i will be using dense rank now window functions will simply create a new window in this result output and where we can order the data by this salary and the window functions will assign some ranking like starting from one two three like the highest salary will get rank one if i do a ordering by this salary in descending similarly if i do in the salary in ascending so the lowest salary will get rank one so i can go ahead and simply say dense rank so the syntax is very simple you say dense rank and you say over now inside you can either you can write partitions by if you need to do any partition let's say if in case you want to find out inside each department you need to find out the third highest salary or the fourth highest salary inside each department or inside each region then you can do a partition by the region or partition by the department but our data is very simple we have a whole company employee details we just need to find out the third highest salary, right? So we don't need to do any partition by, we will simply do an order by this column, which is called salary, salary descending. Okay. Now I can just name it called ranks or salary rank. I can just save it by any name. Now, if I just run this query, it's going to create a new column and that will assign some ranking. Now you can see, now you can see the first highest salary got rank one, second highest salary got rank two and the third highest salary and the fourth highest salary got a rank three. And similarly, the fourth highest salary, these two are fourth highest salary, they got a rank four. This got rank five and this got rank six and this got rank six. So we have a rank till six, right? Now this is how you create window functions to assign some ranking. Now I can simply save this data inside a CTE and then I can filter using this column. Now here you cannot filter by this column because this is not an actual column, right? This column we have created using window functions. Even I can show you if I just go ahead and say ranks equal three. Is not going to give me any result the reason is that this ranks column doesn't exist in our employee table right you can see the column ranks doesn't exist so to filter by using this column what you can do we can simply go ahead and save this query inside a CTE or sub query and then we can select the salary and we can use this column as a filter in the where condition so I can go ahead and say here maybe with and I can just give any name for the CTE so I can go ahead and say salary ranks something like this now you can give any name now the city full form is common table expression which means you create a table inside your query now this query that we have right this query will create a table and that table will be stored inside this name and from this name i will be selecting the salary column and i will be using the this column which is second column as a filter so i will simply say s now i just need to put my this whole query inside this parenthesis so i will just delete it from now Okay, so that is it the basic syntax for CTE creating a CTE. So you can see this is going to create a CTE, right? So this result is a table, right? If you run this query, you get a table, right? So this table will be stored in this CTE, which is called salary ranks. You can give any meaningful name as per your wish. And you just need to use this as alias and you just put the whole query inside this parenthesis. 
now you have a table inside this whole query so you can select whatever you need from this table so i can now go ahead and say select salary and i can say select ranks okay because now i have a ranks column inside my this table which is called salary ranks okay so i will say from salary ranks so if i just run this query i will get both the column so let me just show you you see i am getting two columns which is one column is salary one column is rank so now this column does exist so i can simply use this column to filter i can say that hey i need third highest salary so i can simply go ahead and say where salary equals oops not salary it's ranks okay so where ranks equal three so i will be getting the third highest salary so this is one of the approach to select the third highest salary so if i just run this query you see i'm getting third highest salary now there are two employee we have so both the employee has third highest salary if you need one you can use limit okay so that is how you find the third highest salary let's see if in case you want to find the fourth so you can just write fourth and uh, and you'll be getting the fourth highest salary which is 75000 if you need fifth you can write fifth highest salary so that is going to give you the fifth highest salary now i want to show you one topic here which is called row number okay so let's see what will happen if we use a row number here so i can go ahead and say row number the row number is also part of window functions which also create a window and assign some ranking so let's see the difference okay so if i use a row number everything will remain same i will just give a name call rn okay so let's see what happens if i use a row number and we will also understand the difference between rank and the row number now you can see here i have the salary and i have this row number and i have this dense rank so if you see this highest salary got a row number one second highest which is 90,000 got a row number two now the third highest which is 80,000 got row number three so till here it is working fine now this is also the third highest salary which is 80,000 but this got a row number four similarly this is again the fourth highest salary this got fifth row number and the next one again the same salary but got the sixth row number so what row number window function does it simply assign a number a ranking starting from one so every row will get one number and then the step is going to be one two three four i mean like step is going to be one now if you talk about the dense rank dense rank will depend on this salary columns now if there are two row has the same salary they will get the same ranking for example here you can see this is the highest salary got ranking one this is the second highest only one so getting rank two now these are the two salary which are getting third highest right this is also third highest this is also third highest why because they are the same salary right so they both are getting rank three so this is the benefits of using a dense rank if i want to know the employee details who has a third highest salary i will have both the employee details right instead of salary if i just go ahead and say that i need everything comma and i can just go ahead and run this query you will see that i'm getting all the employee details right so if i now want every details here i can simply go ahead and say that i need everything everything from this table where this rank equals five or maybe three right so let's see so only one employee who have the fifth rank okay which is this one dense rank if you just write three so we have like more than one employee here so you see we have two employees who are getting this rank three so i hope you got this concept now this is the difference between row number and dense rank now there is one more rank which is called a rank let's see that as well now if i talk about rank so in the rank what will happen i will show you so i will just do everything same as it is here and uh, i'm just going to save it call as ranks okay now this one i will just save it as a dense rank just to distinguish okay now if i just run this query let's see what happens between this row number rank and the dense rank so you can see we have this employee record so the data is ordered by this salary now you can see the highest salary is getting row number one rank one dense rank one so for the first employee everything remains fine now the second employee which is 90,000, which is the second highest salary that is getting row number two rank two and dense rank two so everything remains same because we only have one one record in each row now the third highest which is this one you see the 80,000 is the third highest right now in 80,000 we have two employees so the first employee get row number three second employee get row number four because row number doesn't care about if both the row has the same value it will simply assign a unique number starting from one 
Now, if you just see rank in the rank, they both are getting same rank, which is good. So the first both employee will have the same ranking, which is great. Now in dancing also is the same. Both the employee has the same third highest salary, getting rank three. Now, if you see this employer, which is supposed to be Hank, so Hank has the fourth highest salary, which is 75,000. It is getting row number five because if you count the row one, two, three, four, five, it's simply fifth number row, right? So it's getting fifth no row number. Now, if you see in the rank as well, in the rank as well, it is getting fifth instead of four, right? Because it has given three rank to two employer or two records. So it will skip one number because if I talk about normal rank, which is this column, it will skip a ranking if it has given more than one ranking to uh, two row in the earlier rank. Okay. Now here you see it has got rank five. Now if I talk about dense rank, so dense rank doesn't skip any numbers. So you can see both the employees are having the same rank, which is four. So this employee also has four. This employee also has four. So similarly, here you see this employee has five. This employee has six. So this employee has six because this is the sixth highest salary in our database, right? Now, if you use this rank, the, it will work for the first rank, like the, where there now where there are two employee or two record has the same value. It will work till there. The next rank it is going to skip. Now that is one of the reason I always prefer to use dense rank because dense rank doesn't skip a ranking and it assign unique ranking. Also, it considered that if there are two or more or five employee has the same salary, so all the employee will have the same ranking. When we talk about normal rank, it is going to skip all the four rank and it's going to give the next ranking to the next salary. So that's the difference between row number rank and dense rank. And this is how you can find nth highest salary. If you get any interview questions such like this, like third highest salary, fifth highest salary, sixth highest salary. So you can use dense rank to solve the problem. Also, if the interviewer asks hey, why you have not used row number, then you can you have a explanations you can explain why you have not used row number why you have used dense ring so that's it for this video guys thank you so much for watching the video till the end if you really like this type of content and if you want to take this type of challenge so you can subscribe to my youtube channel like the video have a good one take care see you tomorrow